I'm going to teach you how to visualize jewelry in Blender. This is one of the easiest products to visualize. And if you can do this right, you can definitely make some money by making some animations for a local jewelry shop. No matter what kind of jewelry you're making, you're probably going to need a chain. So add a plane with shift A, move it along the X axis while holding control. So the origin point is right here on the end. And then move this by another unit like this. Take these vertices in the corners, control B to bevel them and V to bevel the vertices. Press C to clamp overlap and scroll up a couple of times like this. Inset this surface. You decide how thick you want your chain to be. Then delete the face in the middle. Take this surface, extrude it up. And this will be a single chain link. I want my chain links to be more like a square. So I'm going to add a cube instead lift it up push it over here delete these faces alt e and extrude faces along normals we're going to give this a little bit of thickness like this down here we're going to check even offset and we're going to select these edges and we're going to bevel them slightly like this you want to bevel any sharp edges that you got here at least with a two segment bevel because that's going to improve your shading a lot now here's how you turn a link into a chain first we're going to duplicate this object right click rotate by 90 degrees on the x-axis we're going to move this forward until it gets to the other end of this link so it looks like they're connected in the chain now select the first link add an array modifier and increase the factor until you get the same shit on the other side of this link in this case that's gonna be something like 1.33 or 32 after that you're gonna take the second link then shift select the other two control L copy modifiers now you can stack these as much as you like we're gonna have to scale these down quite significantly and also increase the count to give this enough length once your chain is long enough you're gonna have to make something at the front and the back so apply the array modifier to both links and now is a good time also to join these into the same object i want two loop cuts around this first link delete one half i'll place my cursor over here and add a new circle flip that sideways extrude it inwards a little bit then extrude it towards the back get rid of this surface and we're gonna need a hole here so we probably should have used less vertices and instead of 32 let's try 12 and then we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier later do the same shit again loop cut over here control b to bevel that give me this surface inset loop tool circle uncheck flatten delete then we're going to select the other side delete all the faces and with my 3d cursor i'm going to duplicate this and mirror it over to the other side w bridge edge loops here bevel this extrude this inwards and we can do face grid fill here i'm going to separate this to new object give me some subdivision surface object shade smooth now give me another circle and this can have 16 vertices i'm going to place that through this hole extrude right click scale up then extrude out give me a subdivision surface modifier you can always adjust the thickness of this with alt s now we close the chain on this side let's add a hook there are two kinds of hooks that we can create. First, you got this basic rock climbing shit. I don't like how these look. I think this type looks a lot more elegant. So let's go to Blender. Give me a circle with, let's say, 16 vertices. Extrude inwards, extrude up. Duplicate this circle. Scale by, let's say, 1.5. Flip it sideways. We're going to move that around here. This one also got to be a little bit thicker. We're going to add a subdivision surface modifier and adjust both of their thickness together. I think something like this will do. Maybe this one can still be a little bit smaller. Now we're going to figure out a way to fuse these to do that i'm going to select six faces in the back here inset with i make sure the edge rail is checked for this we can delete those faces and now we just need a little bit more geometry that we can connect here it's probably better if we do this inset part on this one so select these surfaces inset because then we have to add more loop cuts to this side so we have enough geometry select this deselect all the loop cuts that go all the way around loop tools circle and now if we bring this here we got to rotate this on the y-axis by 11.25 degrees so we get faces here you can delete all this and now now we just gotta manually fill this geometry like this you're probably gonna have to do a little bit of sliding like this here you gotta pull this part out like this same thing on the other side you might even want to bevel this and now these are nicely fused together you gotta be able to grip this when you open it so we're gonna take two faces inset them extrude out a little bump like this inset this area alt s to inflate it then apply the subdivision surface modifier select a face loop around here and give me control plus a couple of times extrude right click alt s inset but then press o for outset that that's going to give me a face loop over here and down here. Go to individual origins, extrude this inwards, delete faces, select the sharp edges and bevel them, object shade smooth, and now we got a little hook. We're gonna rotate this sideways, attach it right here. We might gotta adjust the scale a little bit, and there you go. Why do females love jewelry so much? I like jewelry too, but ladies have a special liking for it. Maybe it's the same shit as cars are for us men. If I pull up in a Lambo, everybody thinks I'm a badass. If a chick pulls up with diamonds, everybody thinks that she has a rich man. 
man, which means she's a quality woman. This is the type of shit that's gonna get me banned from YouTube. Go follow me on Twitter, go watch me on Rumble. We're also gonna have to copy this and place it on the other side of the chain, but I don't feel like going all the way over there. You can figure that out yourself. Now we're just going to need some kind of pendant. Now these pendants look kind of complicated, but luckily they're so small that even if you fuck it up, it's not that visible, so you're gonna be fine. Give me my 3D cursor in the middle, shift A, give me a circle, 16 vertices, flip that sideways, extrude it out this way, extrude it out this way, scale it down, press I to inset, then I again to inset individually, duplicate these and separate them to new object. We're gonna make some diamonds or something out of these. I got no idea how to make diamonds. Let's try to subdivide this a couple of times, then inset this like this, Alt S to inflate it, extrude right click, bring it in Words, loop tool circle and bring it out a little bit like this then turn this into circle and push that outwards a little bit further maybe we should dissolve this and use just this instead you might gotta slide these backwards a little bit now we're gonna select this entire object Control b to bevel i only want one segment and hopefully this is gonna look pretty cool when we add a shiny material to this get rid of all the others go to side view place a 3d cursor in the middle of the circle alt e spin use duplicates i want 16 take these edge loops here and extrude them outwards extrude right click scale down give me these face loops alt e extrude faces along normals let's also do a little bit of subdivision surface here then select all the sharp edges Control b to bevel them and now we got the first part of the pendant lift this up give me a plane flip it sideways two loop cuts here two loop cuts here take this scale it up we can do a subdivision surface modifier then inset extrude a little bit extrude again and now we gotta figure out a way to place some diamond or some jewel in here so give me this surface duplicate that and separate it to new object extrude it out Control i delete the surface in the back and let's see what we can do with this first let's try to push this forward then push this further now let's try selecting all these faces in the front i to inset and then i again to inset individually with individual origin scale all these faces to zero merge by distance give me these vertices here we can push them inwards or outwards now select all the geometry except these edges here these select the edges on every corner because we don't want to make that corner sharp when we're about to bevel this Control b bevel we can do two segments i'm a beginner blender jeweler so i think we can call this shit good enough for now now we just gotta add something to connect this up here so select a surface like this inset extrude up give me a circle with 10 vertices extrude that give it some thickness connect this we're gonna make the outer part of this ring a little bit bigger now this little ring is ready let's start putting everything together apply the array modifiers to the chain join both parts of the chain into the same object apply any modifiers that you have on this ring you're also going to join those into the same object as a chain now shift a give me a curve circle flip that sideways scale it up lift this up scale this down i want something like this we should probably make a little stand first before we apply this chain so let's do that to make the stand we're just going to need a cylinder let's do eight vertices delete the bottom surface extrude it out like this subdivision surface modifier you can also get rid of this up here for now shade smooth lower these extrude this down and push it further down extrude again one more time rotate this and start pulling it backwards extrude further to the back one more time like this then back along the y-axis and we're going to start flattening these out in the back here extrude this inwards and lower it down a little extrude it again scale it to zero on the z-axis scale this down we're going to bevel these edges here and now this is a to be one of those display things that you see in shops where they put jewelry on now we just gotta figure out a way to place this around the neck so object convert to mesh scale this down rotate it place it around the neck sort of like this now let's try a shrink wrap modifier target this switch to project target normal project seems to work better i'm gonna pull this down a little bit with proportional editing and now that's nicely placed around the neck apply the shrink wrap give me some more subdivision and apply that object convert to curve and now we just gotta use the curve modifier to place this around this curve so add a curve modifier target this it works pretty damn well already we're gonna have to scale this down quite a bit as you can see right now it does three full loops we're gonna adjust the position so this little locking thing is in the back lower this back down now place the 3d cursor right here snap this over there scale it down and now we got a little pendant around this necklace too if you want to add some materials it ain't rocket science first of all give me something metallic for this we're going to name that silver or let's call it platinum because it looks the same but it sounds a lot better make that metallic reduce the roughness apply the same material to everything else then for the jewels we're going to add a new material which we're going to name jewel let's try a blue color reduce roughness crank up transmission go to ev and switch to rendered view can even reduce the alpha a little bit to make this transparent but then we have to go over here to material settings scroll down in the settings switch the blend mode to alpha hashed now you're gonna have some transparency it might look cool if you duplicate this scale it down a little bit now you're gonna have multiple layers which are gonna be visible if you reduce the alpha you can do a bunch of layers that might look pretty cool i also want to make this metallic and even though this looks pretty cute it doesn't look like a diamond it just looks like cheap jewelry we gotta figure
figure out how to make diamond reflection for another tutorial. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Meantime, I'm just going to apply the same material to these jewels as well. That looks pretty cute. That's how you make jewelry in Blender. Don't even for a second think that this is going to impress any woman. You're better off not even telling her that you're doing jewelry in Blender. In fact, you're probably better off not even telling her that you ever used Blender in the first place. If you want to make more thorough jewelry tutorials, we can make a bunch of other shit. We can do rings, necklaces, whatever. We can even do crowns and Fabergé eggs. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. If this video gets any decent views, we're definitely going to do some more jewelry. If you like this video, then check out my Blender ebook. Everything that I ever use for modeling is in that ebook. Subscribe to me on Rumble where I'm going to do videos of all sorts. I talk about topics over there which I can't discuss on YouTube. Also, follow me on Twitter where we get political. And Instagram is where I interact with my audience the most. So go follow me there. I do a bunch of Q&As and a bunch of polls and all this other shit on Instagram. But at least like the damn video. Subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next one.